Hey everybody, here's a fun fact from the movie Black Hawk Down. You remember that scene where the vehicles are getting ready to, to take Todd Blackburn back and the commander of the Rangers on the ground, Colonel Danny McKnight says, Struker, your lead Humvee. Well, that actually happened in real life. Struker, your lead Humvee. Oh! It wasn't Colonel McKnight who made that decision. It was actually my platoon leader, Lieutenant Larry Morse and he placed my squad of two Humvees in the front of this long column of vehicles. There's no real benefit to being in the front, the middle, or the back of a long column of vehicles. In fact, if you know anything about conducting an ambush on vehicles, the place that you really want to ambush is the middle of the convoy because typically that's where most of the rank is. But the first vehicle is usually the first one to get shot at. It's usually the first one to experience what uh, the battlefield holds. If you were on the ground and the first guy in a long line of people, that person is called the point man. And the point man, because he's at the point of the column, is usually the one that gets killed first. The only reason why my commander, my platoon leader, Larry Morris, placed my, me and my squad in the front of this platoon of Humvees is because I have been practicing driving in and out of the city streets. We didn't have maps. We didn't have any real way to distinguish one city block from the next except for satellite photos. And at this point in our tour in Somalia, I kind of understood the landmarks better than most. So when we needed three vehicles to take Todd Blackburn back to the brace, Todd in the middle and two vehicles, one in the front and one behind him to provide him some protection. When we needed those three vehicles to mount Todd Blackburn up and, make, and take him back to the base, it was only natural that they would place me in the lead. I tell you this because I want you to recognize that the movie Black Hawk Down, the people that made that movie went to great lengths to try to make it accurate for you and to give you an idea of what this battle was. But there are a few scenes where it's not inaccurate, but just the person that made that statement or the one that was doing that action really wasn't the actor or the character they portrayed in the movie. It was actually somebody else on the battlefield. That's my little fun fact for you from the movie Black Hawk Down.